This Toto Dual Flush Toilet is running. Uh, you see you have two options. You can try to replace this gasket, but if the flush valve gasket at the bottom is leaking, you can get the whole thing and replace it. I have already shut off the water under there. Now this thing twists out one way like this, and there's a screw in there. Get this out of the way. I'll loosen up this screw here just enough Hopefully just enough to lift it. We might need to do a little bit more. I don't want to drop that piece in there. Let's see. Maybe we can shake it out one way. I'm gonna need to do a little bit more. Let's try it like that. Oops. There we go. Now we got this out. We want to clean a little bit around here. Feel for any cracks. It's pretty good. Set this over off to the side. And I'm going to get the new one in position with this screw lines up right on like a little, it's like a little uh, notch there. So I'm going to get that in place. So we got that in place. Now we just need to drop it down in here, just like that. And then we should be able to tighten the screw. I may have to hold the bottom piece though. Let's see. We're in business. Make sure it's centered. Looks like it should be good enough. I'm actually gonna switch this over to a uh, to a flathead here and get it really snug. Get the flathead on. Feels pretty snug. Probably don't want to go too too much more. Now we're gonna see how this was set. So this was set up a little bit. I need to adjust this. Let's make one more notch. Okay, we're gonna see what it, what it does. Okay. May not need this clip on this one. All right, I think we're ready to turn the water back on. And let it fill up, and then we are going to test it for leaks. We're giving it a few little test flushes here. Seems like it's doing okay. Uh, next up, I'm gonna let the tank fill and do a dye test to see if it's leaking. So basically what this does is it'll turn the entire tank blue and it will tell us if we have a leak around that seal, the blue will show up in here. We'll just let that sort of marinate in there a little bit. Now inside of here it's all blue, so we don't want to see any blue in there and uh, we definitely don't want to see any running either, but if it's hey, even as the smallest leak you'll start seeing blue, but I think we're good on this one. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you need the parts, I'll link them down below. Uh, if you want to replace just that gasket, you can try that first. Uh, you basically just peel the old gasket off. You have to like really pry it out. And if you don't have dye tablets, you can always just use food coloring. That's just as good. Um, but again, thanks for watching and subscribe if you found it helpful. I do tons of DIY and handyman tutorials.